which one is bigger e to the pi or pi to the power of e before i get into the proof first of all i found from wolfram alpha this is approximately 23 something and this is approximately 22 something so if that's really the case, we can uh, see if we can verify that. I think it's pretty accurate from Wolfram Alpha, but still have to verify. So all we have to do is to compare log of e to the pi and log of pi to the e. Uh, this is meaningful because both e to the pi and pi to the e are both positive and log is increasing function. So uh, this is enough, right? So this is equal to pi log e, this e log pi, right? just have to compare those two. But this is already pi, right? and this is still e to the e log pi. Right? Then we, maybe we can just divide e to the, so we can maybe just calculate e times log pi divided by pi. Right? If the result is bigger than one, that means this one is bigger. If it's less than one, which means this will be smaller. Right? So, but the fact that we both have pi down here and pi up here, so that motivates us to use, to construct following, so log x over x, right? this function. Right? Can we, Perhaps find it, find its minimum or maximum. I right, find out its derivative, maybe. So it's derivative log x right, is equal to this. x squared. Log derivative log x one over x times x minus copy down log x and derivative of x is just one. Right, this is this x squared. 1 minus log x, right. it's derivative. So the bottom is already positive. And so what about, how about the top, right? The top becomes zero when x is equal to e, right? And we have 1 minus log e equal to zero. So that tells us the, the graph of the, the graph of this function, log x over x. Since when x is bigger than e, log is bigger than 1, so the whole thing is negative. So, so here is e. x is bigger than e. Derivative is negative. So I mean the function is decre decreasing. Decreasing. And so when x is less than e, it's positive. So function is increasing right, on the left-hand side of e. So it must be that the function reaches its maximum value when x is equal to e. Right? Maximum value is what? So maximum is log e over e. Right? 1 over e. 1 over e. All right. Everything else, everything else, x is equal to anything, then it's less than 1 over e. Right, so which means, which means x is equal to pi. What happens is that log of, right, if you plug x equal to pi into it, so we don't even have to know whether pi is bigger than e or not. Don't even have to know that. We can immediately say that this is strictly less than the maximum value, 1 over e, right? So, meaning this is strictly less than e times 1 over e, that is 1, right? Like I said, as long as this is less than 1, then we can immediately say that this must be smaller, right? So, smaller. So, which means, right, it's the same direction of the inequality. So, which means this is also bigger than, bigger than that. Right, so which means, really, this one's bigger. Right? It confirms with the result from Wolfram Alpha.